All right, I'm looking at the N Lenovo uh, gaming desktop. I did the one on the i5 <clears throat> version with eight gigabytes of RAM and the GTX 1660 Super, and it ended up being actually a pretty good deal. But now I'm gonna be looking at the i7 16 gigabyte 1660 Super, so it is quite a step up in FPS performance and overall cores threads. So let's take a quick gander at this thing. And one person did tell me that the, the spoiler, this weird ramp at the back is actually a handle so you can carry it much easier. So that's pretty cool. I still would have liked to see the USBs getting put in there, but at least they, this has a purpose. It's not just flat. I'm also guessing that it's like that because if you look at this case, it has no feet by the looks of it and the power supply is facing up, which is not good. This fan right here is for your power supply and it's supposed to suck air usually from underneath and pull it up unless you're putting it on a carpet you face it up so this way it's getting air from inside but the air inside here is going to be pretty warm for the most part but if you're in a basement good chance you're gonna have cold air most people game rooms are in the basement anyways so yeah shouldn't be too big of a problem so like I said, it does come with the i7, which is a fantastic processor. It comes with the GTX 1660 Super, which I think is like the, if, if you want to get at least 60 FPS on high settings on like almost every game, this is the GPU you go with. It's almost as good as a 1070. It comes with a 256 gigabyte SSD, which is solid. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying solid state. I'm just saying it's a solid, it's a solid product. Uh, and then the one terabyte hard drive at 7,200 RPM, which is still good. It's still relevant. Uh, the only negative review is someone says the lights don't work for him, and a lot of people found that unhelpful. Didn't actually review any of the product, so yeah. Um, it does come with a solid motherboard. You can always tell if it says that it has four RAM slots, so it at least has a B460. It does mean that there is no overclocking, but it does have a couple extra little features that the base models don't have. Uh, looking at this, the keyboard and mouse are complete garbage. You're probably going to be removing it anyways. I don't think that logo lights up. I think that's just a picture. Uh, it does only come with, by the looks of it, one RGB fan at the front and an aftermarket cooler, so an extra RGB one at the CPU. The other PC I reviewed did not have that, and I'm still not sure about what's at the front, but I can speculate that there should be fans. Like, there should. Like, you're paying almost a thousand bucks, they should give you fans. Anyways, if you tried to build this yourself today, I went with very basic parts, went with the same CPU, uh, pretty similar CPU cooler. I went with the cheapest B460M, the cheapest 2x8 gigabytes at 3000 speed, the cheapest hard drive, the cheapest SSD at 256, the cheapest, well not the cheapest 1660 Super because I don't like the one fan, PNY1, that one's crappy to me, I would at least get the Zotac, and then the Corsair RGB case which is, I, I love this case, <laughs> for $69 with RGBs at the front, it's well worth the money. And a thermal take 600 watt 80 plus certified ATX power supply, which I hope at least it comes with a 500, 600. Uh, one person told me theirs came with a 650. It, it when I'm doing these part pickers, this isn't the things that you're going to get inside your PC. This is the the cheapest way I could build this PC to show you if it's a good deal or not. This will get the same performance as this. That's all I'm focusing on. I'm not saying that you're going to get any of these parts. You could get completely different parts. You could buy this PC, and your buddy buys this PC next month, and you guys will have completely different components, well, brand name. That's how pre-builds work. They buy by the cheapest seller. So this one is $1,111, and this is only $979. And this comes with a keyboard, mouse, and Windows 10 already thrown together for you. So I would say that this is a decent buy for somebody that wants to get into PC gaming. And doesn't want to get ripped off because it would cost you more to build it yourself. 